There is someone who loves to be productive, someone who loves to optimize their workflow and get as much done as quickly as possible. But your base M1, M2, or M3 MacBook is holding you back? Well, I have the perfect solution for you. Just like this perfect segue to my sponsor. Yeah, no, that, I, don't, I don't have a sponsor. You may be asking yourself, Zen, why do I need a second monitor? Why do I need external monitors? Well, although that's a completely valid question, I would ask you, why do you need more than one pair of socks? or shoes, or cookies. See where I'm getting at? I think we can all agree that more is better. Also, if you wanna get technical, JPR, an industry research and consulting firm, did a study and found that people who use multiple monitors are up to 40% more productive. So yeah, science. And if you still don't think it'll benefit you, then I suggest you go to your local electronics seller uh, with the best return policy, and just try it out until you're either convinced or you go back to being wrong. Personally, I like using multiple monitors because it gives me the ability to have my full editing timeline on one screen and then I can have like notes or pulling up assets or just watching videos on my other screen. It just depends what I'm doing. Back to fixing the problem with the base M chip MacBooks. Well, this is it. Well, this is the box. It, I'm using it right now, so I can't show you. I'll show you in B-roll, it's fine. This is the Ugreen RevoDock Pro USB-C docking station, nine in one with display link. Wow, that's a mouthful. The nine in one refers to nine ports, ethernet, display out one, display out two, power delivery, USB-A, USB-A, and a single USB-C. Wait a second, that's only seven. Well. It seems that Ugreen counts each HDMI and DisplayPort as a separate expansion, which is weird because you can't have four external monitors. So just be aware of that. Once you hook everything up, just know that you'll need to download the DisplayLink driver for your particular machine. The instructions are in the box or you can just Google display link driver for Mac and it'll show up. So before you panic that your new 260 Canadian dollar purchase isn't working, just make sure to download it. Past that, there's no real setup needed. You may want to rearrange the monitors in Mac OS to mimic your real life so that the mouse can go between the monitors easily. Additionally, I just wanted to double check that my ultra wide monitor is running at 100 hertz, which is its rated refresh rate, and it is, but only over display port, which is normal because even without the dock, HDMI 1.4 doesn't have enough bandwidth for the refresh rate at 1440p, it caps it at 75 hertz. My 4K LG monitor is working perfectly fine at 60 hertz and there hasn't been any issues over the last month of using it. Haven't. Hasn't? Haven't. Haven't. Haven't been any issues. So you may be thinking, Zen, what's the catch? Why didn't Apple just implement this themselves? And well, that's where it kinda gets messy. You see, for the first three weeks of using this, I did not notice any issues while browsing the web or writing scripts or emails or anything that is fairly easy on the CPU or GPU. Additionally, I didn't see any issues when editing 4K footage with effects, transitions, and color correction. But this past week has been rather weird. I started noticing my MacBook begin to lag from time to time. I'd already experienced the dock and my MacBook get hot to the touch from day one. The dock wasn't too hot, but my MacBook got hot enough where I had to download a fan controller, which would allow me to cool down the machine pretty easily. And that's because Apple doesn't like you being able to hear the fan, so they just basically don't ever turn it on, which has its perks, but it's also irritating sometimes. The only thing that changed for me recently was that I updated my Mac's OS to Sonoma, but even then it didn't happen straight away, which is why I'm extra confused. I went into Activity Monitor to see what was up, and I immediately see that the Display Link Manager was using 40% of my CPU, which had me extremely concerned. And only when reviewing the recording did I notice that Windows Server, which is the process that controls the drawing of graphical elements and windows on your display, I Googled that by the way, 
was around 50%. And the numbers wouldn't change until I turned the dock off and everything would go back to near zero. So unless I'm missing something, the display link dock is using 90% of my CPU. So should you get this dock? Well, yes, you should. Or find a different display link dock or don't. I'm not your parent, so I can't tell you exactly what to do. What I can tell you is that having a second external monitor uh, helped me get so much more done over this past month. And I'm gonna be really sad returning this dock. Maybe it was defective, maybe it's my MacBook, or maybe I just never noticed the slowdowns at the start. Whatever it is, I hope I helped you discover a way to increase your productivity. Please send me a picture of your dual monitor setup on Instagram or Twitter, I'd love to see them. And thanks for watching. All right, take care. Bye-bye. See ya. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs>